and that makes people angry because that's the type of attention a team that wins national championships after national championships such as a Nick Saban or a, a, a Alabama Deion Sanders is in the same commercials with a Nick Saban that bothers a lot of coaches who probably been in the power five and power six for 20 years, 15 years, 18 years, 30 years, 10, five. This is only Dion's second years. <laughs> I understand it. There's something about the truck is coming, baby. I need you, baby. Right now, I can use you, baby. Oh, baby, I need you, baby. Right now, I can use you, baby. Oh, baby, I need you, baby. Right now, I can use you, baby. Oh, when I kick this shit, when I kick this shit. I think I figured it out about all these Colorado transfers. Before we get started, um, my last video shows me saving a turtle along with my little partner, Moses. Moses, say hi to everybody. Say hi to the family. Say peace. You want to sneeze? Bless you. He got his phone. You know, these little tablets and phones got these kids somewhere else, man. But I'm going to go out, go ahead with this. We got one of our supporters, Kevin, Kevin in, in the, the chat room. I told him I was going to give him credit and make a video where he made a comment. The comment was so proficient. It was so profound. I had to collect my thoughts and gather myself like wow bro like i was confounded like it was simple what he wrote but it was like yeah i think we all can agree that kevin was correct what kevin said was and i'm gonna make sure i put the copy of the comment and his um youtube channel i think he just has an account not a channel but i'm gonna put it so y'all can see who the good brother is and he echoed the thoughts of i think a lot of these dudes are using colorado so they can make way for their own notoriety and attention to their next exodus aka team that they're going now i had to drop this in and tell you what kevin really tried to say like me i took it more as they're using the name for other teams they want to go to but kevin had a good logic that i also thought myself that they want to get their collective nil deals popping get their money up so a lot of them will tell you they're committing to colorado knowing they're not because this will gain interest by the people who dislike Deion sanders shout out to kevin from the comment section I definitely ride with our supporters and I'm glad that Kevin shared that. I will be doing new videos like that. The ones who got certain comments, we will highlight you guys. A team that they're going to in the portal. A lot of players do it, bro. Some do it where they know they're going to Colorado for a year only. So they just go there so they can have that on their resume because they know how people feel about Dion. People are going to want what Dion throws away or what Dion wants to get. It doesn't matter. They want the leftovers and the new pieces of overs bro overs and overs and that is game over time i know it sounds corny what i'm saying but it will make sense to those who know i was looking at the motives of the you think of alton mccaskill bro i'm not gonna even say the funny uh, jokes and their nicknames that i named them you think a, you think of alton mccaskill would have go and get ready to be out of arizona state and all that had he didn't go through what he went through at Deion sanders race He's a running back who has a play, a plague, a, a um, injury situation in history that he's going through, and he may be a good back. Okay, it is what it is. But a team like Arizona needed no disrespect, a much better version than what they're getting in a McCaskill right now. So all this propelled players like him to go to an actual good university like Arizona State. Like I'm not gonna hate on Dylan Edwards. I think no matter where he would have dipped teams would have wanted him he was a good recruit bro i'm not fake but at the end of the day that did propel him to go back to kansas state the team that he left for colorado made them much want him even more to just be like we got a piece and we stole from Deion sanders oh i'm lying i'm gonna make sure i can put the article on this video too where uh, um rashard amos he stripped for lane clifton two dollars bill at the strip club and he flipped his situation for the fifth time and he's going to Ole Miss now and all you see is the headlines is Lane Kifton steals recruit from Deion Sanders so you can't win with these people bro and we can keep fast forwarding it bro to Carmani he damn near was almost nothing after he left Deion his one actually took a toll low-key I am kind of happy he found a place 
Can we be honest about Cormani? This is my son right here, Cormani. I do care about the young ones, but I don't look at you as my son age, Cormani. You're in adulthood now, bro. You feel me? I'm happy that you got a job to do your thing and your development because you you don't seem like a bad kid personally, but we only talk about you based on football ethics, bro. It is what it is. And I got worried and scared for you that nobody was going to pick you up. You know what I'm saying? But look what happened. You did like what Dylan Edwards did. You went back to the team that you spurned away for Colorado. I mean, you went six visits in Gainesville. At what point do you say you never really wanted to go there? Same with these other recruits, bro. They, the bishops of the world. Bishop got kicked off. And we know a couple of other situations too with other players. But they got propelled to going to certain schools because of the fact that you were around Dion. You got the Gavin Clods. He's a Benedict Arnold. Like, if I ever seen one, you dig? But I want to stick to this. You're going to continue seeing a lot of transfers just based on the fact that a lot of people want to get in close to get their names up, which... Which if hey, this is just a little break so I can talk to the great people who support this platform, man. Without y'all, we will not be where we're at, man. You got great supporters like Wendy, Solomon, 202, and a lot of other creators. We got people supporting us, giving donations, and we didn't even ask for it. So I'm feeling truly blessed, man. So I just need y'all to hit the like button and make sure you comment. As you see from the rest of the content creators, I'm actually one who will rebuttal you or comment back and show some love. You know what I mean? Blessings to all of y'all. Thank you. Man. Man. But I want to stick to this. You're going to continue seeing a lot of transfers just based on the fact that a lot of people want to get in close to get their names up, which which if it's for N NIL deals, some of them probably know they won't make it to the NFL. So you're trying to get as far as what you could get right now as it stands for it. And I understand it, man. Get your bags. But don't have a fake outrage when y'all see players leaving, talking about the problem is Dion. You can say that for any recruit that leaves any university. Y'all do know there's other universities besides Colorado, right? Because the way the media talks about Dion so much, you would think they forgot about all the other coaches. And I think that also brings jealousy amongst the other coaches who are the peers and colleagues of Dion Sanders. Because when you see that much attention goes to a coach who only won four games at a university that hasn't been relevant in over 20 years, over two decades, Colorado hasn't been relevant. Now you're seeing... The way they get talked about, all the publicists, uh, um, publicity, um, I, I mean, they're, they're getting from publicized articles, um, TV networks, just everything that's coming with the magnitude of what the prime effect is. And that makes people angry because that's the type of attention a team that wins national championships after national championships, such as a Nick Saban or a, a, a Alabama. Deion Sanders is in the same commercials with a Nick Saban. That bothers a lot of coaches who probably been in the power five and power six for 20 years, 15 years, 18 years, 30 years, 10, five. This is only Dion's second year. <laughs> I understand it, bro. I'm laughing because I don't have to be mad on this video. The other videos, I'm always honestly upset like that at people what they do, but I'm always also chilled. But in this vi video, it's hitting me like we at the top. Man, this is bigger than football. It's deeper than football. We're at the top right now. No diddy. We're at the top. You can laugh at the four games we won, but guess what? You're worrying about a school that you could care less about, and you're mad and angry, and on every video, it's the same people trolling, the same people. I, I understand it, bro. You have never talked about any other schools that your team was up against or teams you don't even know, but there's only one reason why you bring up Colorado. I'm not going to get into that. We say it all the time in all the videos. I'll let your imagination run wild, but it did hit me that we're at the top, man. Winning in everything you can think of, man. They get mad because Dion don't try to recruit, you feel me, these high school kids or whatever. They upset at that. Dion is not recruiting high school kids. He's more worried about the recruiting that's going on through the transfer portals. Can you get mad at Dion for that? Dion is a new coach. He wants to build a program up. He's getting high school kids too, but he says he believes not going to their high school games. He believes going to the player's home. 
that's where you can know the stability of that actual individual you feel me to see who their parents are whom their parents is and where do they come from what's their background that's a coach trying to get to know a player but you got coaches like Dabo Sweeney and Alabama's coach calling out some blankety blanks and saying that we don't do it that way we do it this way I told you the good old boys club and now you got these players with crocodile smiles like these Rashard Amos and all these other people, bro. You feel me? These out there McCaskills, skills, bro. You, you know what I mean? Because everybody said we talk about Cormani only. We take it more easier on Cormani than the other players we go in at. I, I talk about Cormani a lot because I want to see him win. And he did a lot of Judas type activities. Can we keep it real? People around his circles and families been doing some things too. So we keep his name up, but we go more easier on Cormani versus the rest. I hold no pun intended when it comes to Alton McCaskill and his people, bruh. Just wild, bro. You feel me? At least Cormani does the stereotypical things. But with Alton, it's like, damn, man, huh? Xavier Smith and, and, and run, run, run into the athletic along with Alton and all of them going to the Mayo media to lie and exaggerate about claims. It's, it's a little unbecoming, bro. I stand on that. It's unbecoming about a lot of things, man. Look, man, I'm feeling good about this video because shout out to Kevin. It got to me that what the comment section wrote, including what Kevin said, is showing you the spe spectacle that's going on as far as people's envy and jealousy. You know what I mean? You can't get mad that Dion is a magnet for money. He's a magnet for views and clicks, as people like to say, it, views and clicks. Since everybody liked to say it, and the one who coined that was the organ coach, Dan Lanning, I think we need to trademark that. Views and clicks, you feel me? Because the same people saying views and clicks, they wish they had them same views and clicks. Like, nigga did all that winning. <laughs> You hear me, Moses? Cuz did all that winning and ain't get nothing, get or got nothing for it. I don't blame them why they mad, bro. Here come Dion. He he just came out the woodwork. He's not even considered a new coach yet. This is only going to be his second year. He's still getting his feet up. And if this is called being a new coach, I would love to be in Dion's position. You feel me, bro? Like Jesus, bro. To lose. Uh, I mean, to win only four games, bro, and you getting all this attention, bro, you got niggas mad at you like they ain't never seen nothing like that before. That tells me, yeah, we at the top, bro, because I'm not getting mad at a team that y'all claim is nothing. Their coach is ungreat, all this. Why are you still talking about them? Do we talk about the losers? It's never been heard before, so you know the power of what that prime effect got and what it's bringing over there, man. It's a sunshine going on right now. I feel rejuvenated. Shout out to the Colorado gear. Mwah, spectacles, bro. You feel me? Love your family. Love your kids. And truly, indeed, stay blessed. Moses, stay, say stay blessed. Say stay blessed. You was just talking to save the frog. Now you don't want to speak. Blessing to the kings and queens and the mothers of this earth. Peace, man. Love your family. Love your kids. Love your family. Love your kids. And stay blessed. The battle of the game, I was going while I was being the most. Bitch, did you see? Real, 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 real. The battle of the game, I was going while I was being the most. Bitch, did you see? The big, the black, the bad, the bald head motherfucker. So get the fuck the back of some the dog, the truck is coming. Baby, I need you, baby. Right now, I can use you, baby. Baby, I need you, baby. Right now, I can use your baby.